risk management case studies. Put simply, the consequence of poor risk management is the occurrence of unexpected negative events, which can delay the project, make it more expensive, lower the quality of the final product, or in extreme cases, lead to complete failure of the project. Even with excellent risk management in place, a large number of unanticipated events will occur, and good risk management sometimes requires a large investment of resources and creativity. The Mississippi Basin Model In 1927, the Mississippi River burst its banks and flooded 27,000 square miles of the United States at a depth of up to 30 feet in places. Over 500 people were killed and more than 600,000 displaced from their homes, with gigantic economic and social consequences for an enormous swathe of the US. Because of the huge size and complexity of the Mississippi River Basin, planning adequate flood defences, where best to build levees and shore up riverbanks given the finite resources available, was a task of almost unimaginable proportions. In response, the US Congress passed the Flood Control Act of 1928, giving powers to the United States Army Corps of Engineers to study the way the river flooded. Early experiments with small-scale hydraulic models of flooding were promising, so river models were gradually scaled up, eventually resulting in a gigantic model of the entire Mississippi Basin, covering an area of 200 acres. Construction began in 1941 and completed in 1966, although sections were operational from 1947. The project was tested in 1952 when the Missouri River section of the model was accurate to within inches in predicting where levees would be overtopped. Preventative measures were put in place informed by the model, and flood damage totaling an estimated $65 million was prevented absolutely dwarfing the level of spending on the model, which was approximately $1.5 million per year. The project, by taking a systematic, considered, but bold and creative approach to managing risks, was of course gigantic in scale from an absolute viewpoint, but relative to the size of the problem it was tackling, it was a cheap and extremely effective solution to a highly complex and previously intractable problem. Of course, not all such risks can be managed so effectively. The Central Artery Tunnel Project was the largest and most expensive highways project in the United States history, lasting a total of 25 years from initial planning in 1982 to completion in late 2007. The project rerouted Interstate 93 through central Boston and involved the construction of two tunnels, a bridge and a greenway in the space previously occupied by the old I-93 route. The total cost of the project ran to $14.6 billion, a cost overrun of 190% on the original projection. Dozens of unforeseen, and in many cases foreseeable, problems were encountered, including glacial debris, sunken ships and other archaeological sites, thousands upon thousands of leaks and water damage to structural elements of the tunnel, the disruption and rerouting of power lines, water mains, etc. Hordes of rats roaming the streets of Boston, disturbed by excavation. Cost overruns on construction due to cost-effective design for the bridge being considered too ugly and facing opposition from residents. The replacement design was attractive, but used novel construction techniques and was much more expensive than originally planned. Substandard materials were used, causing maintenance and safety issues. A tunnel ceiling collapsed, which killed the passenger of a vehicle travelling through the tunnel. New engineering techniques were required to safely dig a tunnel under an operating motorway. Improperly designed handrails in one of the tunnels mutilated and killed passengers of vehicles involved in crashes in the tunnels. Air pollution generated by the project required significant spending on environmental mitigation projects to meet regulatory requirements. In a project of this scale, there are potentially millions of risks, not all of which can be easily foreseen. However, many of the problems of this particular project were foreseeable and could have been avoided with proper risk management.